Daphne Henry Kendall Daphne. That honest daughter, Daphne. Set thyself in silver light, take thy thoughts of fairest texture, weave them into words of white, weave the rhyme of rose lip Daphne, nymph of wooded stream and shade, flying love of bright Apollo, fleeting type of faultless maid. She, when followed from the forelands by the lord of Lyra and Lute, sped towards far singing waters, past deep gardens fleshed with fruit, took the path against Penus, panted by its yellow banks turned, and looked, and flew the faster through grey tufted thicket ranks. Flashed amongst high-flowered sedges, leapt across the brook, and ran down to where the fourfold shadows of another glade began. There she dropped, like falling Hesper, heavy hair of radiant head hiding all the young abundance of her beauty as white and red. Came the yellow-tressed fart ardor came the god whose feet are fire, on his lips the name of Daphne in his eyes a great desire. Fond, full lips of lord and lover, sad because of suit denied. Clear, gray eyes made keen by passion, panting, pained, unsatisfied. Here he turned, and there he halted, now he paused, and now he flew, swifter than his sister's arrows, through soft dells of dreamy dew. Vexed with gleams of lad on his daughter, dashed along the son of Jove. Fast upon flower trammeled Daphne fleeting on from grove to grove. Flights of savant hard behind him, breaths of bleak and whistling straits. Drifts of driving cloud above him, like a troop of fierce-eyed fates. So he reached the water shallows. Then he stayed his steps, and heard Daphne drop upon the grasses, fluttering like a wounded bird. Was there help for Ladonis' daughter? Saturn's sun is high and just, did he come between her beauty and the fierce fart ardor's lust? As she lay, the helpless maiden, caught and bound in fast eclipse, did the lips of God drain pleasure from her sweet and swooning lips? Now that these and all love's treasures blushed, before the spoiler, bare, was the wrong that shall be nameless done, and seen, and suffered there? No. For Zeus is king and father. Weary nymph and fiery god, bend the knee like before him he is kind, and he is lord. Therefore sing how clear-browed Pallas Pallas, friend of prayerful maid, lifted dazzling Daphne lightly, bore her down the breathless glade, did the thing that Zeus commanded, so it came to pass that he who had chased a white-armed virgin, caught at her, and clasped a tree.